Greetings to everyone. This is your host Ash Khan and you are watching Consumer Pakistan News Channel. In today's bulletin, government's own WhatsApp like app and smart office to be introduced. By June 2021, the government plans to launch its own WhatsApp like messaging app and smart office which will include all modern communication features. On Friday, the Ministry of Information Technology and Telecommunication, Federal Minister Aminul Haq said that the Smart Office app will be launched by the Pakistani government by June 2021. He said that the government is well aware of the concerns of Pakistani users regarding the updated policy of social media app WhatsApp and reprioritizing its policies under which preparing a personal data protection bill expediting work on a chat application for government employees and increasing contacts with social media companies are included according to a statement by the minister that it is brought to notice that subject changes in privacy are applicable on whatsapp business accounts only while regular non business and individual profiles and accounts are not affected He said that the federal cabinet issued orders to the Ministry for developing an app like WhatsApp for government employees. According to the IT Ministry, in the first phase, the app will be launched in major cities after being developed on an experimental basis. Turkish Airlines fined for violating COVID-19 SOPs. A fine of rupees one lakh has been imposed by the government of Pakistan on Turkish Airlines for the second time in three months. Following a violation of COVID-19 standard operating procedures on a connecting flight to Lahore, in a notice issued by the Civil Aviation Authority, the Turkish airline transported a certain Mr. Tariq Ali from a Category B country, Senegal, to Istanbul for a onward flight to Lahore without proof of a negative COVID-19 test. The Aviation Authority had previously penalized the Turkish flag carrier for violating COVID-19 SOPs in October last year. for transporting a passenger without producing a negative covid-19 report the caa also asked the international flight carrier to bear travel expenses for transporting the passenger to lahore along with the cost of testing and quarantine the passenger was traveling from category b country on a connecting flight to lahore via istanbul as per the government of pakistan's directives Travelers from Category B countries are obligated to provide proof of a negative report conducted not more than 96 hours before the commencement of travel. Federal Minister for Education decision on reopening of educational institutions. The Federal Minister has decided to postpone the reopening of primary schools for a week while classes from 9 to 12 will start from January 18th as planned. Keeping in view the increase in COVID-19 cases, a high-level meeting was held today at the National Command and Operations Center to review the latest situation of the ongoing pandemic in the country. After holding a meeting with all the provincial ministers and health officials, Shafkat Mahmood, Federal Education Minister, said that the coronavirus positivity rate is still high in the country. That is why the reopening of primary schools have been delayed for a week. He explained that after a detailed analysis of the situation by health and education ministers we have decided to start classes from 9 to 12 as per announced schedule of January 18 priority is being given to them because of board exams that have been postponed to May and June the minister said higher education institutes will resume in person learning from February 1st Everyone is concerned about the loss of education during the previous lockdown but we have to strike a balance so as to ensure the safety of students he said adding the current positivity rate has come down to 6.10% which was 7.14% when the education institutes were shut down on November 26 MG Motors gets greenfield status in Pakistan A China-based British car company Morris Garages that made its debut in Pakistan a couple of months ago has received the greenfield status under the Auto Development Policy 2016 to 21. The greenfield status will allow the automaker to set up an assembly plant and produce CKD cars in Pakistan. The news was confirmed by the general manager of the Engineering Development Board. 
एम जी केम टू पाकिस्तान इन पार्टनरशिप विद जे डब्ल्यू मोटर्स एंड एस ए आई सी द लेटर इज द चाइनीज पेरेंट कंपनी ऑफ एम जी एंड लॉन्च द एम जी एच एस क्रॉस ओवर टू कम्पीट इन द ग्रोइंग एस यू वी सेगमेंट ऑफ पाकिस्तान द अराइवल ऑफ द कंपनी वॉज हाई प्रेमरली बाय जावेद आफरीदी हु इज द की स्टेक होल्डर इन एम जी मोटर्स पाकिस्तान द ए डी पी टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन टू ट्वेंटी वन इज सेट टू एक्सपायर बाय द एंड ऑफ जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन However given the success of the HS SUV as claimed by the automaker MG seems to be confident that they would make a big splash in the Pakistani automotive market in the coming days Increment in petrol prices on Friday rupees 3.20 per liter in the prices of petrol was increased by the government which now would be sold at rupees 109.20 per liter with effective from January 16th against its existing prices of rupees 106 per liter according to notification issued by the finance ministry the price of high speed diesel has been raised from rupees 110.24 per liter to rupees 113.19 per liter and increase of rupees 2.95 per liter Likewise the price of kerosene oil has been increased from rupees 73.65 per liter to rupees 76.65 per liter showing hike of rupees 3 per liter while the price of light diesel oil has been increased by rupees 4.42 per liter from rupees 71.81 per liter to rupees 76.23 per liter The notification added that the prices would remain effective till January 31st 2021 Thank you for watching Consumer Pakistan News Channel. This is I Ashkan. See you in the next bulletin. Until then, take care and goodbye.